Okay, guys, it's the bomb versus the bombshell in the weekend's box office, and it's going to be the biggest weekend of the year, no doubt about it. Welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons. Sean will be back with us next week. Can I come to your now, who house? knew that Barbie could be the victim of an existential crisis? Margot Robbie is perfectly cast in Greta Gerwig's wacky and wildly imaginative comedy about Mattel's superstar doll. It's the kind of movie that the term meta was coined for. It throws darts at consumerism and male patriarchy by having Barbie transported from her fantasy sphere into the real world, while Ryan Gosling's Ken grapples with feelings of inferiority. Whew. And while the double entendres will go over the kids' heads, the material really isn't offensive, but this movie isn't for kids. Barbie is for nostalgic adults who don't mind having their childhood obsessions lampooned. Sean says Barbie is a sprawling, colorful, sometimes fun, but ultimately a movie disguised as a lecture on feminism. Dear parents, this movie ain't the one for kids. The themes are too complex and too adult. Well, on that last part, we agree, but it's a very entertaining movie. I'm giving it four popcorn bags. Sean only gives Barbie two popcorn bags. Filmmaker Christopher Nolan's epic biographical drama Oppenheimer is an engrossing and brilliantly realized biopic about the astute but troubled father of the atomic bomb. Irish actor Killian Murphy is riveting as the renowned physicist viewed as a classically tragic hero here. He suffered from enormous doubts as his intellectual brilliance and moral compass came into conflict with his crucial mission. A stellar cast complements Nolan's cinematic artistry and razor-sharp vision. Oppenheimer is easily the year's best movie. Sean, however, saw a different film. He says from a technical standpoint, Oppenheimer's terrific filmmaking, flawlessly authentic, but lacks cohesiveness and a sense of clear direction, Terrific cast, but neither fun or entertaining. Well, I totally disagree. I'm giving it my highest rating, five out of five popcorn bags. Sean gives Oppenheimer three popcorn bags. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash greening room. Go to our Facebook page, go to YouTube. Hey, hey, and if you go to our Facebook page, give us a like, and you can find out how to win tickets to the new film, Theater Camp. Okay. That's it for this week. Russ, I'm torn about both movies because you guys have totally different reviews. Right, but you're <laughs> saying if you have a choice, which one, Russ? Oh, if it were my choice, I would go to Oppenheimer, no question about it. But it's, it's one we, that needs to be seen on the big screen. Sounds good. Love it. All right, thanks, Russ. See you. You bet.